To manage construction notes in CNM, we write our notes, insert our bubbles, make our tables, and then do a quantity takeoff. That's four steps. We write our notes, insert our bubbles, make our table, and fourth, we can make a quantity takeoff if we want. We already installed CNM. We already opened the CNM test drawing from the CNM test folder in the CNM folder and we ran the CNM test script and it completed successfully including putting in some bubble notes and making a table. So we are ready to try CNM out ourselves and I put some files, three files, three drawings for a project on the desktop. Step one is to write the project notes and we do that using the edit project notes from the pull down menu, the ribbon, or the toolbar. I'll click the toolbar. CNM has to set things up because this drawings folder, the desktop, is new. It's going to bring a cnm.ini and bring in a project notes. When you edit project notes it may look like this, 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 or this, which is my favorite, depending on your setup or your version of CNM. Today I will use the oldest format. It's kind of pretty and kind of picky. Here's how it works. These are all box notes. These are all circle notes. These are all diamond notes, etc. This is a box one, this is box two, and this is box three. Note that I can continue one like on diamond four. These are spaces, not tabs. This is the description. You can type anything you want. It can't be any longer than this for each line using this file format. This is the unit. It doesn't mean anything to CNM and it can be up to three letters long using this file format. And this is the counting instructions for CNM and it tells CNM to add up the numbers that are on line one of the bubble note. Let's zoom in so we can see what this means. Let's make this bubble note a little bit more meaningful. It should be two linear feet, or let's make it 250 linear feet, and let's just say it's 30 feet right. This unit has nothing to do with the CNM unit. But CNM reads this number as box note 1 and, can, and adds up 250 for this box note. Let's look at the table for what it means in the table. It's easy to see that a box note 1 8 inch water PVC water line, 2 linear feet, it looks very similar to this box note one, eight inch PVC water line, linear feet, count up line one. There is also a hidden line that I can add up with line zero or other lines up through six that I can add up or I can tell it to just count the bubbles for the quantity. In the sample file to make testing really easy, every shape adds up line one for number one and counts for number two. Line one for number one, count for number two. All the first eight shapes do that. Let's edit box note one to a 12 inch to show you how clunky this format is and picky. I need to delete a space to keep those lined up. And then I'll save my notes and step two is add bubble. Let's add a box one 56 linear feet which the program doesn't pay any attention to the LF just to the 56 
let's add a box two. Let's just copy this box two. Four, five, five twos, and let's add a circle one with the toolbar. Uh, 500 linear feet. Let's copy it. And let's add, let's just copy it again and change it into a 2. Take away these underlined spaces and the underlined line 1 and copy it a few more times. So we just added a bunch of bubble notes and step 3 is to make the table. Since we already put in a table, it knows where it is, otherwise we would have had to choose a spot. It says maximum rows of draw notes with a default of 99, I'll just hit enter, and there it is. It makes 306 feet, 5 each, 1000 feet, that's 500 plus 500, and 4 each. I'll try refreshing my table and this time telling it to only go up to eight lines of notes. Let's try it again with only four lines of notes. That bumps them over to the next column. Let's try it again with 99. Now let's go to our next sheet. In this sheet, let's do a box Note, 1, 25 linear feet. Let's do a circle, 1, 26 linear feet. Let's do a diamond, note 1, 200 linear feet. And let's do, looks like I did something wrong with that diamond, so let's make it note number one. And it looks like I did something wrong with my box. It needs to be note one. And then let's put in some diamond twos. then we just click on our table. Let's purge our table, which means erase it. Now let's try to make a table. It wants to know where to put it, so I pick a point. How many lines? 99. Alright, we've put the notes into two sheets and CNM has placed the quantities for each note in the folder on the desktop. So we can go to our cover sheet and we can run a quantity takeoff. And it says, how do you want to select the drawings? Uh, let's select them one at a time. And it's not on the desktop and I don't know why, but we'll go to the desktop, pick plan one, go to the desktop again, Maybe that's my current folder is documents. And then cancel when finished. Which notes do you want to list? All of them from the project notes list or just the ones that are used? Let's just do the ones that are used. Start point and it gives me the total quantities for the sheets. Well what about the breakdown if I want to do quantity control? Well that's here in this CSV. It's got the sheets itemized, which I can look at in a spreadsheet.
I opened it in Excel and now I've got it open up in LibreOffice and here's Plan 02 and Plan 01 and the total. So I can see all my quantities. No survey monuments on Sheet 2, four of them on Sheet 1, two manholes on Sheet 2, none on Sheet 1. And that's how you manage notes with CNM. If you have any questions about any details or configuring anything, ask in the comments and I'll make another video specifically about that facet.